I'm Julie and these are my two wizards, Merlin and Salem. This time I'm trying out the voiceover for the first time. I wasn't doing a script first, so we will see if it's getting too rambly, then I have to record it again. So today I want to show you what I thrifted the last weeks. It's about a month. Yeah, it's quite a lot. <laughs> Around about uh, I paid 80 to 90 euro for everything you see in the video. The first item is a white blouse with colorful flowers on it and a beautiful lace and nice buttons and also there is an extra button. I appreciate this. The blouse is 100% cotton. This lavender top or blouse is <laughs> it is kind of a surprise for me in, at the back. It has some lacing, also nice buttons and I have a lot of checked blouses and I like them in every color. Unfortunately it's not cotton at all. 85% polyester and 15% viscose. And this one is a peasant top with a nice embroidery on the bottom. I love it when they all have all this, the whole book inside. <laughs> this time it's 100% cotton again. Yay! This white blouse with rump shapes, it's from Jake's, now it's Julie's. <laughs> I forgot to look for the blurb. I just learned the word blurb today. I think it's really fun. Blurb. In German it's Waschzettel, by the way. And this one has a sun on it and it's a bit transparent, so I guess I will combine it with, with a yellow top underneath. And it's 100% viscose this time. The next thing I want to show you is a two-piece. So this is the shirt. It's in a nice light yellow color. I don't know if it's nice. It's, it's a bit of a strange yellow, a bit greenish yellow, but it's not really uh, some lemon green or something. It's 100% linen, what is really, really nice. The next thing I took because I thought it, it's 100% silk and I wasn't even bothering to, to look at the blurb because I thought it's clear that it's silk but I was totally wrong. <laughs> and I think it's really nice combined with this yellowish color. I will give it a try. The black t-shirt with the dragonflies on it I couldn't find when I was recording. It's from the brand... Rodier Paris. It's a French one and it says made in France and the blurb wasn't readable so I cannot tell you what kind of material. I guess uh, it's cotton or viscose. I hope so. This light blue night dress is from a brand called Hermann Wäsche. It's unfortunately 65% polyester but also I will give it a try. And I want to do a blouse out of it and I'm still searching for my blouse pattern. This yellow skirt, I think it's a really fun color, especially for summer. And this yellow skirt is from a brand called Vero Moda. It has a synthetic uh, inlay. I already seam ripped it. The outer layer is 69% cotton. This light blue dress I want to change into a skirt and I nearly couldn't believe my luck because I just was about to buy a skirt for about 40 euro new I have seen in the shop because I think it's just such a basic for summer and it's a good staple item. And I like the buttons on this. I already seam ripped it and I guess I will also do a lining there is no blurb in it, so I cannot tell the material, but I can tell from the feeling that it's not 100% cotton and so it will be a bit sweaty maybe. This was another lucky find. It's a really special dress, I think. It's a striped purple and then has this print with blackberries, I think, and... Um, I don't know the English word for the other berries. A lot of berries. I wouldn't have combined these two fabrics like this. And the cut is really special. It's a long dress. I'm really happy to find a long one. Because normally they are only knee lengths or shorter. And I like to have a long dress as well. And the funny thing is that the woman in the second hand store, she said, 
Why are you wearing long skirts and dresses? You are young and you have a good figure. Ah, I like it sometimes. And this one is also long right now, but I guess this one I will cut a bit. It's a devil on camera. It's not showing the colors at all. I really had a hard time to film it because it's a really nice light turquoise color, but the camera has decided that it's gray most of the time. It's had slits in the end, nice golden buttons. I think it's, it's a nice one. This chocolate brown trouser, I just took them because I thought it's a nice linen material, but they really fit me. It, it was kind of a shock because they look so tiny. The next one is huge. It's a white trouser with golden buttons and I, it was a bit of a surprise what kind of material it was. And also there was a surprise in the inside because you can see that there is a kind of a wedge put in in the lining and I don't know if that's a repair or, or that's a better construction to, to avoid that the middle of the trouser is ripping. And here you see the other part of this two-piece, the light yellow trousers. The brand again is public. They were a little bit short, so I just seam ripped um, the ends and just let the hem hemming out. I will put something else as kind of a, maybe a bias tape or something inside. Now you see a bunch of fabrics I bought. This time I was really lucky and found a lot of them. Several times I have been into the shop uh, together it's about 10 or 11 euro for, for everything you see right now. I cannot tell about the fabric details. So just watch and enjoy. This vintage ribbon, I think it's really, really nice. This has some embroidered flowers, an orange on it, on a dark brown checked background. And it says that there is aluminium foil in it, but I don't think that's the right description. And I also found a box of buttons, all together for one euro. And there's also a buckle in it, a kind of a medallion, and an eraser, and... Uh, Playstone? No, that's not the word. Um, a gaming piece, a chip for a card. I also bought a nice turquoise pillow with flamingos on it. It's a little bit dirty, but I think it will go off in the wash and it was only 50 cents. And then I, I have a nice yellow checked bed linen. I thought I would cut it to make a dress, but now I decided to keep it. And Salem and Merlin already destroyed two of my bed linen, so it's okay to have some more. The other one I will cut for sure, because it's a children's size. And it's, an, I don't know if you can already call it vintage, it's from 1999 IKEA. And I think it would make a lovely sundress. And this yellow belt will pair nice with it. Then I bought a scarf. Nothing special. It's just with a lot of things going on. And there are two suns on it that I like as well. This dark purple scarf is fitting to a dark purple skirt I already own. 
So when it's a bit chilly outside, that would be a nice idea. And this one is fun. I, I cannot figure out if that should be fruits like kiwi or if it's just um, shape. But I like the colors and it's a really thin, light material. I think it's a nice summer scarf. I love to wear scarves, by the way. I don't know if you can hear this right now. Merlin is purring here and he is sleeping on my chest again. Yeah, there are two boxes I bought, one wooden box and one tin box. And I also like boxes. <laughs> I have quite a lot. And then I bought a nice little alarm clock in lavender. They are just random things here, like this one. I wasn't really planned to, to buy this one. <laughs> but maybe I can use the tools for sewing as well. I'm really curious about this one. It's a King Arthur game. And it's a combination of a board game and something where you, you have to interact with a smartphone, with an app. And I guess that I will try it out with some sew hearts one day, maybe. And I also bought some art. This one is for my bathroom. It's with dolphins. It's a fresco from Greece. And these two cranes will live on my dining table now. I always try to get some wooden uh, hangers so that I can change them, that they all, all have the same shape. 